Good morning vlog. It is day two of my dad's um, surgery for his new knee. He is in recovery today. I was supposed to be at my mom's house two hours ago, but I was so tired. Um, I couldn't wake up. There was just no way I would have been able to have safely driven us to Indianapolis. But I'm up, I'm ready, I'm going now. It kind of sucks that we're getting a late start, but maybe that means that my dad has already been able to get plenty of rest, maybe get some lunch. But I'm heading there now and I'm super excited to see him. I texted him last night, uh, so I know he was okay. Nobody texted me or called me in the middle of the night. Um, so I know that there wasn't any sort of situation that had happened. But uh, yeah, everything seems to be going well. I really wish I had some Starbucks right now. Thankfully though, the hospital has free coffee. So I will be guzzling that today, faux show. Sure. I do have a vanilla Coke that Anthony bought me. I hope my mom's not stressed out. I'm kind of guessing she is because we're getting such a late start. And I can imagine because I would want to be next to my husband and if, if he had just had surgery and was in recovery, I feel like uh, human garbage for being so late but all right guys well i will see you in indianapolis and give you an update there we're here we're about to go up and see my dad so i guess my mom said he already had physical therapy today he's already had lunch and he's ready to go so we're about to go see him and see how he's doing i'm good i'm good my knee is brand new Brand new. Titanium alloy. And you've already had physical therapy? Yes. Do you yes. have it again today? Uh, yeah. She should be by actually any time. Did I break it? Did I? It's like decompressing. No, that's okay. my cryo cuff. Your cryo cuff. Yeah, this is his cryo cuff. So what is this? This is like a... I thought he had a water cooler. You know, I don't know. Well, but it's it attached. Well, it's got ice and water in it. And this pumps water into the cryo cuff. And it put it, pressure on it too, right? Yeah, and it keeps it from keeps the swelling down. It's, it's like a cold compress. How much do you do it at home all the time at first, or just? Um, they'll tell you. Yeah, they'll tell me about all that. I just now got it put back on. I've been sitting in the chair for the last couple hours. Yay! So you're wow. sitting up and if you're up to it. We brought you know and exploding kittens. Okay. Because what's better than having a new knee and exploding kittens? <laughs> she told me in the car that she was bringing exploding kittens, and I thought, wait a minute. <laughs> All I could think was, like, the kittens at the house. I'm like, why are we bringing them if they're exploding? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they need I to hope stay the home. Aren't exploding, <laughs> <laughs> so, how's the. Because I know last night you were saying that there was a lot of pain and pressure on the back of your knee. Is that still there? Some. It's not too bad. Are you still on the pain meds? Because it, like, it looks like you're not attached to any no, sort of not. IV. They give them to me orally. Okay. And you're not on oxygen, so that came yep. off. Yep, that came off. And was that last night that they wing you off before you went to bed? No, that was this morning. I had to have the oxygen all night. Gotcha. Your and that makes sense. Your flowers are still fragrant. Huh? Your flowers are Oh, they're fragrant. very. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't, I didn't take a video of our the beautiful flowers I'm that we got. Yeah, this thing is really cool because it's like a spotlight. Ooh, Ooh look at these flowers. Uh, and I did bring sugar-free pudding. I had pot roast Ooh. with potatoes and baby carrots. And then I had a side order of baby carrots, green beans. Oh. And I had a chef salad and macaroni and cheese. You're making up for lost time. And ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> well, he was hangry last was night, rightfully so. Yes, well, they let me order it. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, because I'm on a specific calorie count and carbs. Oh, it's probably just little amounts of. Yeah, I mean, everything. the ice cream cup was that big. Okay. But so cool. So that's your cryogenically frozen knee. It's not frozen. <laughs> No, I'm joking. <laughs> are you still wearing happy socks? Do they still smile? Yeah, but they're probably crooked. They are crooked. Do you use your walker when you get up? Yes, I have to use my walker. How long do you use it at home? Until I don't need to. Uh, so you, you just listen that? to your body? Well, yeah. 
But he's going to have physical therapy that's going to be like, okay, let's try it without the walker yeah, probably. Probably at least a couple weeks. Yeah. Is your knee, they, because the doctor at one point said sutured and then he said glued. And then we asked the nurse last night if it was sutured or glued. And she again was like, we'll go check the. Okay, March came in this morning and changed the dressing. Mm hmm And it sutured, like they did with the kittens. It was they glued sutured inside. And then it they was sutured the inside. Outside. Okay. And then glued on the surface. Glued on the side. Then they put a, like a, film tape over top of it. Uh -huh. So that's gonna reduce you scarring. See huh? You see, you get to see how it looks. Just the tape. Yeah. She didn't pull the tape off. She left that on. Now you'll have this to do at home, or is the person coming to do it? No. Uh, they did say that the therapist was going to check it though, to make sure there wasn't any inflammation. Yeah. Um, the. They'll probably go over that with me. Okay. It's just a matter of putting some gauze pads on, pads on, and using a, um, ace bandage to wrap it. Okay. With. But the back of your knee. The tape. The, the tape will stay on until I go see him. I don't know. In his office in about two weeks, she okay. said. Then they'll take that off down to the skin, and then everything else dissolves. That's good that they don't have to reopen you to take out sutures they put on the inside of you that are glued no, shut. <laughs> Which always weirds me out how sutures can dissolve. Well, it's weird. They're made out of organic material. But you no longer have the the tension in the back of your knee like you did last night? It's still there. I have to work that out. That's going to be... But does it feel like you were having cramps like you were last night? Because last night you seemed like you were in a lot of pain. Um, it's not too bad now. That's good. I mean, I, like I the physical therapist came in. She said I did really good. I went through several exercises. And funny thing is, now this will change because there'll be some swelling uh -huh. and so on. But the goal is to get me to bend my knee at 90 degrees. Right. Here she is. Oh, physical therapy. Here she is. This is your paper in the crown sheet this morning that I forgot to oh, okay. hand to you. And I did a very good job. I stapled the paper on backwards. So we started on the second page and went right back <laughs> front. You did, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did a whole packet, a whole pa a whole folder of that that way. <laughs> so brilliant. I know that somebody's going to be coming to our house for two and a half weeks, I think. Yes. Do, does he do anything beyond what they do when they come? Nope. So just what they do with him when he's there, we don't do anything else. Yep. Okay. Now, um, the paper, there is a blank spot there. It says how many repetitions of each exercise and how many times a daily. Uh -huh. We used to tell people to do the exercises two or three times a day, but no more than that. Okay. Daily, Dr. Johnson's been saying to do the exercises with a therapist and not anymore. Okay. I will tell you, um, some of my patients get real stiff, like at night before they go to bed, so it helps them to do the exercises before they go to bed. It just kind of loosens you up before you go to sleep. Right. Yes. What you do at home? Okay. Yeah. Can he overwork it? Yes. He can, which is why Dr. Johnson doesn't want him to do anything at home. So, should he be trying to get up and walking at home, or should we be. Should we get him a cowbell so that he can, you know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get him a cowbell. Okay. He should be able to get up on his own and go to the bathroom and go to the kitchen and those things. But other than that, Dr. Nelson doesn't want him walking like a lot. So no mowing the lawn. You're out of lawn. you get out of mowing the lawn. I have a riding lawn. He doesn't want you on. No, you no. Covered. No, he said that'd be a couple weeks. Yeah. Anthony's gonna we're taking care of the yard your he yard. Said it covered. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure I know how much he Dr. should be Johnson up and he's a, he's allowed to be school. up and do household. You okay. know, taking care of yourself, household stuff. Go to the kitchen, go to the bathroom, but lots of rest. Okay. He doesn't want you leaving the house for at least a week. Okay. If you prefer to. You know, try to Which means you need to call me when you need something. Take advantage of my husband. Take advantage of your grandchildren. I already did. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, we didn't Gavin. see Gavin for a week. <laughs> No, 17. You were, you didn't, we didn't know if you forgot where he was at. I just figured when you were done abusing my son, you would send him home. <laughs> he kept getting to the point where he'd say, I guess I'm spending the night again. And I said, are you okay with that? He goes, yeah. I figured you were taking advantage of him. Well, he gave him stuff to do. So. He said he sleeps better our, at our house. Our son's 17 years old. 
He's my right hand man. Oh, it looks good, Dad. I was thinking it was going to be a lot more swollen than that. That looks really that good. Looks good. All right, so you got your ankle pump, and the ankle pumps and ankle circles. Okay. You see them? Yeah. Those are the ones I told you you could do all you want. Okay. The right. other ones are the ones you can't do all you want. Right. You just do. Well, you know, and those by themselves should keep me from getting stiff. Okay. Because it does flex. Mm -hmm. So those you can do all you want. Ankle pumps and ankle circles. And okay. Okay. Ones. okay. You pull my socks up, right? I can. No, I'm here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Just take advantage of them when they go home. There you go. Save up your points until you need them. That's true. That's true. Save those points. They may run out fast. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Just kidding. Mr. Taipei over here, I believe it. <laughs> oh, she said it, not us. <laughs> I think I walked in the door and he was over there and he's on his laptop. I'm like, okay. I don't even have to come in the room. I'm going to tell you, you need to not do very much. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just telling you. All right, where is now? I'm going to steal this roll that I have behind it. Okay. Oops. Mm -hmm. All right. So, uh, all right. Nice pumps. Stepping on all of us. How many reps? 50 billion. 50 billion? Mm -hmm. Now count. One. You count. <laughs> okay. Let me know when I get the 50 billion. <laughs> Two. <laughs> 20, 20 or 30 of those. And the reason I use the roll over here is just to clear your heel so you can actually move your ankle. Otherwise, right, I was going to say, way. otherwise I'm just wiggling my toes. You are. <laughs> All right. And then they give you circles from when you're bored with ups and downs. See? Yeah. Both directions. It's really fun seeing uh, with the smiley face socks. I can do that. They look really happy. Yeah. Those are the things he could do and relax a lot of. I'm just going to give you a little calf stretch and then you relax. Yes. Don't help me. You are. There you go. <laughs> I'm not. What are you at your pain right now? I'm at zero to ten. Three. Three. That's good. Here. No, it's the back of my knee. Back here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So the cryo cuff is great because it goes over the top and it's not hitting the back. Right. So you may want to get a little ice pack and, and get in the back too because that's where you're more sore. Okay. And I can get you one for here, but at home you may, you might do that. Okay. All right. Squish me. Push down. Mm -hmm. And relax. I want you to do 15. Hold it for just a second longer. Perfect. So the goal of this one, since you're recording, is he's trying to get the knee as straight as he can while we're still working this quad muscle. Gotcha. Because you don't want those to weaken and... Right. Right? Yeah. Shooting up the shorts. No. So. I'm a photographer, so I'm used to. <laughs> I know where to find my angles. <laughs> well, I don't have the hospital gown. Blackmail. <laughs> well, nurses were showing him legs yesterday, so. <laughs> Now those exercises are going to help the back of his knee where there's that tension too, right? Just yep. kind of like stretching it out a little bit. Yep. I asked him a 
this morning if he was able to get his knee straight before surgery and it was not really and i think that's it the yeah. knee the joint itself will go straight it's just the ligaments and the muscles that will have to catch up yeah right oh he was very bow-legged in both of his legs because the doctor yesterday said it was there was no cartilage and it was bone <laughs> on bone well that's when you want to get them replaced yeah all right you remember what to do on this one uh. yes and keep your thigh on the roll though don't want your leg to come up mm -hmm. Perfect. 15 if you can. And let it go all the way down. Yeah. That's it. Good. Five. Mm -hmm. The better you do this, the quicker you'll heal up. I'm imagining. Mm -hmm. Eight. Mm -hmm. Remember to stop when you're five from coming up. Yeah. Ten. You're wanting to be an overachiever again. We have a thing where it's called a too much Lego, gene. Eight, ten. Yeah, that was 11. That's 10. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's 12. Well, like you're counting. <laughs> I think. <laughs> I'll do 16. Just oh. Be honest. Uh -huh. so. Like I said, too much gene. <laughs> yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You would think he was an Aries, but oh no. <laughs> Some people call it the extra gene. <laughs> Too much gene, I think, describes it better for Dad and I. How many? Ten. 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 Three. helping you on this one because you've got enough motion. Six, you're just watching you've got under control. Seven, okay. Eight. Mm -hmm. Nine. Yep. Hold the tenth. Nope, you don't have to. We'll measure in the morning. Oh. It's good. I've nice. never seen him have that much motion in his leg. I mean I have, but it's been a couple of years. Is that like, isn't it normal? No. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Maybe sit up and we'll take a short walk. Okay. Mm -hmm. How long do I need my walker? Until he says you know. To, oh. Are you following no. up with him in two weeks? Yeah, I think so. Usually at the two week mark, he watches how you're walking and then tells you what he wants you to do. Okay. So you need to keep the walker for at least two weeks. Just hang out there for a second. Don't jump up. So. You got your, your ankle pumps and your ankle circles, which I told you you can do as much as you want to. Right. Okay. So it's your squishing. You're right. pushing down. Right. You did your leg lift. Right. Okay. You did your bending. Right. Okay. And we did the little roll under the knee. Right. Okay. Now this is on here. I really could care less about this one actually, but this one is when you're sitting in a chair mm -hmm. and you bend your right knee back and you put a left one on top to push it back a little more. Okay. To work on the bending. Does that make sense? Yeah. I do not do this one while you're in the hospital because you're here such a short time. I'd rather you wait and let that incision heal just a tiny smidge before you go cranking on it. Gotcha. Okay. So that you should sense. be doing this though when home care comes out. Okay. So this is on your favor, but just know we're not doing that here, but home care will guide you and tell you. Right. When I'm starting to feel the stitches too. Yeah. That's all right. Let's start it itching. Yeah. This little white paper is about safety with your walker. Okay. Most of which is common sense, but somebody did something stupid, so we wrote it down. <laughs> but he did something. Somebody stupid. always ruins it yeah, for everybody. everybody else, so <laughs> there's, it, yeah. okay. there's no end to how stupid some people are. Uh, so, you you know, see my neat machine over there? Funny. What is that? The, actually, I need you to take that home with you today. What is it? It's a vendor machine. They call it the CPM, the Continuous oh, Passive Motion Machine. Oh, okay. So when he's in. I, bed probably. You're gonna put it out and he gets in it and it just bends his knee for him and goes Oh wow. Nice. Six hours of the day I'm to be in bed. And that's supposed to what, work two hours at a time? Yeah, they like you have yeah. Mm -hmm. Three times they, a day. Yeah, they usually recommend two hours at a time. Don't do all six at one time, please. No, <laughs> it's three, two hours at a time, three hour three times a day. Okay. 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 Should it be spaced out kind of like morning, that way he's got plenty of rest? Yeah. 
I have some people that sleep in it and try to get a couple hours in when they're napping in the afternoon and maybe a couple hours at night when they're sleeping, but that's, some people sleep in it great and some of them can't stand it. So it's yeah. really, this is long as you're not trying to get it all at the see, same time. You can put the TV on back in the bedroom and yeah. watch a movie. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, is there any rules about him wearing shoes at home and when he walks, would that be? Not, well, so our sacks have the non-skid stuff on the bottom, the grippies. Um, we just don't want you to be in something slippery. So you either need to be in like non-skid sacks or probably your shoes on. Okay. If you're a barefoot person, we don't necessarily tell you you can't be barefoot, but there's all kinds of safety hazards with being barefoot anyway. Yeah. So we do mostly have carpet at home. Maybe you can like wink at some nurses and get some extra non-skid socks. Yeah. Alright, you want both feet on the inside of your walker. Okay. Alright, and then one hand should push up on the bed. Beautiful. Now get your bearings before you take off. Make sure your bridges and your feet are set. Yep. Good? Alright. Take your time. Try to keep your back as straight as you can. I know that walker doesn't let you. Oh, is it up as high as it goes to? It the is up as high as it goes. Yeah. He really needs one more notch up. Oh. But as little time as he's going to be using it, it's up will be okay. I'm so proud of your dad. He looks good, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah. Like, he looks great. Mm -hmm. Especially with how we left him last night and how he hadn't even, like, stood up or anything. <laughs> Alright, same as this morning. He lets you cross the hall and come back, and that's that's pretty much the distance he lets me take you today. Okay. Now, will you be back tomorrow morning? I will be. And we'll do steps tomorrow. Steps. Yeah, even though you, we'll just do one step at a time. This right? one is still a good. Make sure you know how to get in. Well, I'm going to lean my head against you yeah. and wail. All right, remember no twisting, little baby steps. You look so good. I bet you feel like 10 times better. Yeah. Dad, you look so good. Your leg is very straight. Like, very That's straight. That's what I was thinking. But I didn't know that, for sure. Are you breathing? Yeah. I'm okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Now, usually, I hear I'm breathing, it. not wheezing. <laughs> Alright, where are you going? To the bed. Okay. I just like to know. Okay. Did you set up for lunch? Yes. Good. Oh, you brought the flowers too? Yes. They, they smell nice. Beautiful. I saw them this morning. I was like, oh my And they're goodness. like, the smell is just, it's so aromatic. Really <laughs> okay, back up. Let's see if you can get it to the bed. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, and it was funny because he, we had, he had come out of surgery and then they, he was like, I wish I had some flowers. I'm like, <laughs> we got you, Dad. <laughs> oh, I was telling her how you woke up from surgery saying you wanted flowers and I was like, do you not remember that? No. You probably don't remember a lot last night, but you woke up saying, I want flowers. Aww. And we were like... See, that's that deep down feeling She's that you don't want nobody to know about. Yeah, it's yeah. It's surface when you got those drugs in you. Yep, yep, and it's on camera now. You're a sensitive guy. You're lying through you your know. teeth. Yep. yep. Yes. Just some more drugs. <laughs> Look at you sitting up. Breathe. That's good. <laughs> Dad, I am so proud of you. You look so good. You don't know why he's sad. You wanted flowers. You wanted water. Well, I know I said I Oh, he was food. angry. He came in. He was like, I want a steak. I want potatoes. Oh my God. And then when he found out the cafeteria was closed, I thought he was going to like get up and like hit somebody with his walker. <laughs> yeah, he was like, forget this. <laughs> yeah, what time did you get up here last night? It seemed like it was late. It's like 6.30ish, 7. 
It was around seven. And he hadn't eaten since the night before. It was right. Six. <laughs> and it was right during shift change, and so we couldn't get a nurse to come in here to like address the food thing. And so then we found out the cafeteria was closed. I thought she was going to kill someone. I thought he was going to kill someone. But Chick Fil A came uh, through for us. I do love Chick Fil A. Did Is that it? Where you got that salad? Was it good? It was a real good sound. I told you, I got you, Dad. I got you. I know you. Right there, now, which one is this one? I'm the favorite child. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 do you want you that got, bright light on or off? You guys got four. four. Yeah. yeah. That's right, four. Yeah. So, am I doing okay? You're doing fantastic. 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 You're doing fantast
proud of him and I'm so relieved at how much better he's doing today than yesterday. Yesterday I had gone home and I literally, before we went to bed, I started crying because I was just so concerned about my dad and his blood pressure and the nurse is not feeding him. And so I didn't know what to expect today, but he has done a complete 180. And I'm just, I don't know. I really, really, really am just happy with how everything's going for him. I can't wait to see uh, how the healing process continues to go. And, you know, I honestly can't wait to see how he's doing tomorrow. I don't know if they'll have him up and walking very much, but uh, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. Tomorrow, we're gonna get my dad and bring him home. And um, I guess we'll just check in with you guys then.